Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of our Stalker Gamma Lab Guides. Now today is gonna be a bit more different because where we're going is not actually a lab, but I still feel that it may need a little bit of a guide for some. Because I did have some people ask me on the Gamma Discord how to get past through some of the anomalies and what to expect in Jupiter Underground. Now, you need to get through Jupiter Underground for the main mission. After you recruit Rogue from the Skadovsk in Zaton, he asks you to go to the outskirts, but you can't go through Pripyat because it's full of monolith. So, you take the path through Jupiter Underground. And if you're like me, or if you're doing something which is very high risk, like an Invictus run, you usually don't want to go through Pripyat, so it's a good thing to remember how to get through Jupiter Underground. So right now we are in Jupiter, and there's not a big deal to be afraid of here. We will just take the path uh, up north, and then go south, and at the entrance to, Ju to the Jupiter Underground, at the Jupiter Underground entrance, sorry about that, there may be some guards. It can be anything from Sin, Military, and even Unisig, to mutants in right in front of the entrance. There is kind of a side room, which is like a big crane hangar, and you can meet mutants there, so like Chimeras, for example. So. By this time, usually I've spent a little bit of time up north and I probably wouldn't have exosuits, but I definitely would have heavy armor. Now, in this case, just to make it a bit easier for me to go through this, I will take my endgame gear. Of course, we are playing Dr. Krominov because he's the only character I had on hand which has this mission. So. We have our trusty RD 9x39, we have an SR25, Monolith Nosorog, Exo Helmet, but you can actually do this with just an Exosuit or even a SCAT 9. It's not a big deal, I've already been to the outskirts at this time and I did most of the endgame with a SCAT 9. So, if you're careful, armor does not matter, but... I also had some very good artifacts, including a full empty and a pristine Chimera hide. So take it with a grain of salt. Right, so we're gonna start moving that way. We have Rogue here and we also have Hip, but mostly I'm gonna keep them behind us on weight because if you lose Rogue, the game's basically over because you can't advance with, advance with the main missions. If we lose Hip, uh, we're gonna be sad for like a few seconds and then it'll pass. So, let's get on with it. Alright, so we're nearly there. I am playing an ecologist, so if it smirks for military, I'm not gonna have a problem with what's in here. But we're gonna be careful nonetheless. Now, this is the easy part. Inside the lab, we will meet. Oh, military. You're friendly. We're good. Inside the lab, we will meet a lot of mutants. Snorks, especially. But uh, you can have other things. I've met lurkers, I've met chimeras and fractures in there. But the bigger problem is if you go with rogue, there will be a lot of monolith as part of the main mission. There's a specific room where they are, so at least we know. Right, the entrance is right here, and we're just gonna start with it. Alright, here we are in the lab, and I'll go ahead and turn on my night vision. And I'm gonna switch to non-AP, because honestly, it's not worth holding on to it. Oh! Okay. Oh, 
Okay, there's already a controller here somewhere. Wait. I was not bad. Uh, do watch out for this anomaly right here, and I do need to off my flashlight. For some reason, it's still on. Uh, okay. There we go. That's why I couldn't see anything. Okay, so as I was saying, be ready for all kinds of weird mutant spawns out here. Now, this isn't the first time I've passed through this place. That's why you saw a snork corpse down there. But on the way to the monolith base, Expect to meet a few, at least a few snorks. They're usually running around uh, these uh, walkways here. As you can see, there's one dead there. And... Is that a pseudo-dog or a cat? Yeah, the second and the third time you come through here, you might actually have even worse spawns than the first, so... Okay. So, for this area, I suggest you turn your night vision off so you can see the anomalies, so you go at Lantern Light. And, behold, the left truck here. To avoid that anomaly. Oh, D. And then, we go around the pipe and up here gently and we are past and you just do the same thing when coming back but to the right i've, I've seen a lot of people get wrecked by that particular anomaly maze thigh zombies Interesting, and there was something... I don't like those things. More snorks. Okay. And there was a Psy Sucker here. Interesting. Our light is still on. Oh, interesting. Somehow my night vision bugged. And I can't... Oh, I know why. I'm, I'm just stupid. I was turning my laser light on and off. Alright, so the way is pretty straightforward. There's usually a couple of snorks in this tunnel. One of them will drop from the ceiling, it's this one right here, so pay attention to that. And then there's usually some mutants in this area. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask my guys to wait and ignore combat right there, because we are getting close to the monolith base, which is in that room right there. We're gonna slowly advance. I wanna make sure there's no mutants around here that can attack me from behind. I'm gonna do a quick survey and we already see some flashlights over there. Now you can do this with a heavy armor easily. You just need to Bring them all here in this choke point. There's a doorway there, they can't come out any other way. Also, usually a lot of snorks spawn in there if this is the first time you're coming through here, so Monolith will fight the snorks. In this case, it's a bloodsucker. Oh, 
Alright, we got him. Let's hope we didn't alert the monolith. Oh, we did. Alright. You can easily do this with any sniper rifle you have on hand. The SR-25 just makes it basically a cakewalk if you've got AP ammo. Do not throw that grenade at me. Okay, there should be a couple more on the right as well. Although fighting that bloodsucker, they could have switched to the left. But there's usually about 10, if not more. Though I'm seeing some corpses which aren't usually there. So the bloodsucker and the lurkers here actually did a good job of dealing with the monolith. So, I'd say we got a little bit lucky. Alright, and we can, of course, get to looting, but I don't personally need anything here, so... It's all good. Right, at this point, we can talk to Rogue. Where's Hip? Um... Okay, that's... that's weird. Did Hip die accidentally to something? I'm just very curious now. Okay, I have no idea what happened to her. Oh, honestly, doesn't matter right now. Right, so normally I think you're supposed to talk to Rogue here, but he's not saying anything, which is a little bit annoying. Maybe there's another monolith here? Okay, so apparently we didn't clear out all of the monolithians. You talk to me now? No. Okay, it's one of those um, annoying instances where the game just bugged a little bit. I'm gonna go on a little monolith treasure hunt here. Where any others are hiding. Third one right here. Right. Now we got it. Okay. Where is Rogue? Just gonna have a little talk to him. And he gave us the next mission. Now, there's one more thing here in uh, Jupiter Underground, which is, there is a set of documents for the Unisig mission. I'm not sure if anyone else needs them, but they are this big room to here. You're gonna have to go around this anomaly here and into the room. 
and the documents are usually up this ladder or stair. And from here on out, just look for them. They could be, they're usually right here, but I have had them spawn around here somewhere. So just keep an eye out for them, even on top here. I'm, I'm not sure, but just make sure you search every inch of this room in case you can find them. Okay, gonna do a quick med up and gonna repair the armor because if there's anything I hate it's having cracks in my helmet okay and we go out the same path we came in from this room I mean and to get out towards the outskirts we're gonna take this entrance right here These are anomalies, by the way, so stay away from the lights. And from here on out, no more monolith, but there can be mutants. Alright, there could be Tushkanos in there, so keep an eye out. Bloodsuckers, zombies, and as always, snorks. Wherever there's a sewer level, there's gonna be snorks. But from here on out, you should have a very easy time getting out. And here is the ladder. We're just gonna climb out, and we will be in the outskirts. Right, and we're out. And all that's left now is to go straight forward into the laundromat where we will meet our stalker friends. Right, so I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope this guide helped you, and as always, I'll see you all next time.